Yeah, so I grew up in Sydney, played rugby for my school in winter, basketball in summer. It was a bit different, I suppose. Melbourne's a bit of a microcosm and it's very insular and footy is like a religion here. And he's like, I always loved it, but I didn't realise, I suppose, how big it was. It was a bit of a different ride. I went over to Paris uh, when I was 16. Instead of probably pursuing footy flat out, I said that I'd like to go over there and went to school there for six months. But through the New South Wales scholarship system, I was lucky enough to end up at the Hawks. The best team in the modern era produces its masterpiece. To actually play in a premiership and to win was a massive moment for me. And in a way, probably has defined me very much as a person and is a real landmark in my life. Yeah, so the photos uh, after the game of me sitting in the middle and by myself having, a, I suppose, a William moment, I broke down in a way that I really, I suppose, want to take a mental snapshot. And when I think back to grand final day, at the end of the game, that feeling, sit down and acknowledge the way I was feeling and how relieved and happy and overjoyed and just everything that was going on inside of me. I'm bullied by my family. They think I'm a bit of a wild man wolf pack. So uh, I, know I like to just keep it pretty low key. Obviously, it's really nice being around the footy club. There's plenty going on, lots of hoo-ha. But the whole different or weird stigma, I don't know. I just like to be my own person. And I don't know, it's like studying or taking interest in the world is a bit different, I suppose, in a football club. It takes all sorts at a footy club. I'm one sort. Uh, and it's nice. It's really... Uh, friendly environment just creates bands and we all bounce off each other and it certainly just don't shy away from the things I'm interested in or don't feel the need to necessarily conform I suppose. <laughs>